The fire that started late Sunday and ran into early yesterday morning here at this mobile home park destroyed mobile homes just like this one behind me. Eight mobile homes, a number of cars, and it killed pets. You can see the wind is still strong here tonight and battling extreme conditions. Firefighters stopped the spread. Big events like that are few and far between. A perfect storm of conditions. Hot, dry, high winds, and another fire already burning. We were also working another fire right down the road, so the closest units weren't available. They're already committed to another structure fire. In the tightly packed mobile home park, the inferno first reported as a structure fire spread to cars, trees, and other homes. It was progressing very, very quickly due to wind. The first firefighters on scene immediately called a second alarm, bringing reinforcements. Eventually, 100 firefighters on the biggest fire Henderson has faced in years. Deputy Chief Tim McKeever says the wind and heat posed an extreme challenge. If you can imagine a, a blowtorch effect where you have the wind taking that heat and preheating structures and, and combustibles ahead of it, and then you get the embers there, and now it's just gonna it's just gonna progress very, very rapidly. And so that's the challenge is to get the right people in the in the right spot with the right tactics ahead of that. Wind driven fires are among the most dangerous for firefighters. The line of duty deaths for firefighters, there are many cases attributed to the wind. Two firefighters were injured during the firefight. The deputy chief says this is the type of fire they routinely train to fight. And though events like this are rare, with so many windy days raising the fire danger, they must always be ready. The wind plays an absolute huge role on each and every structure fire we go to, and it's always accounted for. And the cause of the fire here and at the other one mobile home just a few miles away have yet to be determined. Tonight, neighbors are collecting donations for the victims of these fires, people who have lost everything. Reporting live tonight in Henderson, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.